something I bet you wouldn't have guessed happening now. I certainly wouldn't. As a judge had to stop sentencing a paedophile after he realised he knew the man. <laughs> I could leave the report there, <laughs> but I'll continue. 37-year-old Christopher Jaycock pleaded guilty to the making of indecent images of children, possession of a prohibited image of a child, and possession of an extreme pornographic image. The judge, and I kid you not, this is his name, Judge Mark Saville stopped proceedings at Minshaw Street Crown Court after claiming the name rung a bell and then confirming that Jaycock worked for Howe United and that Saville knew the man, so couldn't continue with sentencing. Mind you, I suppose it's better than keeping quiet and giving the man a light sentence. But I do wonder how a judge knows a paedophile. Oh, no I don't. Judge Saville said, I can't do this case. It's not your fault, very unfortunate, but it's one of the prices we pay for local justice. Bottom line is, there cannot appear to be any kind of prejudice or advantage to you by virtue of any connection you or I may have. I'll be checking their WhatsApp, see if they've got a connection that way. The case was then adjourned to be dealt with by another judge. Catherine Wright, prosecuting, said that officers from Greater Manchester Police became aware that a social media account linked to Jaycock had been used to post indecent images online. Jaycock was found in possession of 16 Category A images, 10 Category B images and 15 Category C images on an iPad, which were all inaccessible. Although I'm not quite sure what that means, to be honest. If they were inaccessible, how did police know they were inappropriate images? On an iPhone, they found seven inaccessible Category C images. The other, there were two accessible Category C images and five inaccessible Category C images. And in Jaycock's Dropbox account were 113 Category A, 75 Category B, and 1044 Category C. The court heard how some of the videos showed children as young as three being sexually abused by adults, and the extreme graphic video showed a man having sex with man's best friend. Although Jaycock clearly misunderstood the meaning of that phrase. Now, with Judge Jimmy, uh, Sorry, I mean Judge Saville standing down from the case and Lady Judge Recorder Kieran Rankin taking over to sentence. I was expecting a proper sentence for the dirty fuck. But no, I should have guessed that Jaycock was handed a three-year community order, 200 hours of unpaid work, 10 days of rehabilitation activity requirements and an accredited sex offender programme. He was also made subject of a sexual harm prevention order and a sex offenders register for five years. But not even a suspended sentence for this one. However, I suppose it's nice to see a judge actually, actually admitting to knowing a paedophile instead of simply trying to hide the fact. But I would like to know if they know each other outside of Hale FC. So whilst doing a little bit of research on this case and or this report and the judge himself, it turns out that Judge Mark Saville let a pervert walk free, giving him just a six month suspended sentence for sleeping with a 13 year old, twice, after pretending to be a teenager himself, after the judge, Judge Mark Saville, branded the case exceptional. I won't go into the details of, of the, the story apart from, the prosecutor told how the victim had accepted a friend's request on Facebook from Thornton. He told her she was beautiful, but it wouldn't, but it would have been abundantly clear to Thornton that she was a child. She told him she was 13 and she had photos of herself on her Facebook profile. Thornton behaved in a manipulative manner at one point saying he was suicidal. The court was told the victim fell in love with him and they agreed to meet up. They had sex on two occasions, once after she had met Thornton whilst wearing her school uniform. Years later she began to search for Thornton out of curiosity and discovered he had been lying about his age. Thornton was described as extremely immature when committing the offence and is now a married father of three and has a job. Judge Saville said no one must think that anyone committing these offences can expect anything other than a far longer immediate custodial sentence. This is an exceptional set of circumstances, rarely can I say this. I am fully satisfied that you will continue to live a decent, law-abiding life. Thornton was sentenced to six months in prison, suspended for 18 months. However, I will say that Judge Saville has at least jailed some perverts and child abusers. 
24 year old woman who kissed and groped a 13 year old girl jailed for two years paedophile couple plotted to abuse a child of five to spice up their sex life these two were jailed for 30 years combined so I will say that although some have been locked up there are others who haven't and in my opinion every single one of these sick fuckers should be swung from a lamppost but unfortunately that's not possible so the next best thing is obviously to lock them up and they should all be locked up without exception in my opinion <laughs> Big thank you to channel supporters one and all. Especially these guys, your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials.